my name is Ken Giller. I'm a professor in Wageningen University in the Netherlands. So the role of the university in, uh, in the project is we'll be supervising the PhD students who'll be working in the field. But I think particularly what we're bringing is quite a rich experience of working in uh, different countries in Africa, in different smallholder systems, um, and trying to actually move the project away from having a purely focus on rice and rice production. When we're working with smallholder producers, we're really working with rural households. And those households have a multiple of uh, sources of income, uh, particularly in terms of different crops, in terms of often remittances and dependence on people living in the city. And we have to understand that whole dynamic if we can really understand how uh, improving rice cultivation really fits into their goals and their aspirations. We've just been in the field uh, around Ganyoa for the past few days, uh, together with local researchers, and we've been wandering around different inland valleys talking to farmers about their constraints and the opportunities about their production system. I think a key learning that comes from this is that nearly all the farmers have, a multiple, uh, have multiple crops. They have crops on, on the valley slopes and the valley bottom and on, on, on the uplands as well. So that they're not just focused on rice production, they're also producing cocoa, they have rubber, they often have food crops, cassava, maize and others as well. Rice is clearly a very important crop to them, but it's not the only crop. And I think if we focus only on rice production, then we, we don't get the full understanding of how their farming systems work. I think particularly there are questions around seasonality, when they need to put effort into one crop and not into another. Some of the crops are managed all year round like rubber. Others like rice have very uh, focused times in the year when there's a peak of labor intensity that's needed and we need to understand how that plays off against the other crops within the farming system. I think there's a very key development aspect because uh, in my own view uh, we focus far too long on individual crops in individual places and we need to think about uh, how does that relate to the whole food system, how does that relate to all of the different crops that people produce of course but in terms of the general goals in a, in a locality, um, we, have, we have the goals of the producers, but we have also then these broader goals in terms of policy. I think there's a clear policy in Cote d'Ivoire, we, we read about it recently, that the government wants to be food self-sufficient. And that means that they're, they're aiming to produce more food overall. But that needs then a, a broader planning perspective but that planning perspective has to fit in with the aspirations and goals of the farmers themselves and, and not just uh, a policy perspective when farmers are sitting there thinking, well, they want us to produce rice, but actually it, it makes more sense to produce rubber. We can't do a project like this without a multitude of different partners who come with different perspectives. We're going to be using this uh, innovation systems approach, but that needs a very close contact with a whole range of different stakeholders. Uh, we'll be building it into research, obviously a research component from the different institutes. We have the local knowledge from uh, CNRA here and from Africa Rice in the region. And I think the partners from outside are bringing new skills and new expertise. For us, it's a big learning experience because most of us haven't worked in rice in Africa before but with uh, experience in different parts of the world with rice systems and with other systems, we can reflect on that and bring, I think, new perspectives.